This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time. Beautifying this uh, area and having the volunteers of uh, Hands Over Miami to uh, uh, come and to be a participant today, certainly to me is an extension as well as a fulfillment of what Dr. King was all about. And I believe that he looked and dreamed of that day when uh, all people, black, white, Hispanics, can come together to uh, deal with that beloved community that he fought about. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be, be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. What it does is bring hope to people's hearts. And as people see that it's easy to work together, they'll continue to, to try to reach out and help one another. I think it's going to be beautiful. And I, I love plants and trees. I think it's going to be beautiful. Things are changing, and uh, we have to focus on neighborhoods. And this is a perfect example of us taking a neighborhood who has not had a very good reputation, but giving the people an opportunity to be a part of that progress, and giving them an opportunity to be a part of progress, and, and beautifying our neighborhoods, and bringing pride to a neighborhood. That's what we want to accomplish here today. And I think right off the bat, in the, five, in the first five minutes, we've been able to do that today, Thank, thanks to Hands On Miami. And, and corporate America that has shown up to make this neighborhood a much better neighborhood. We've done several events with Hands On Miami um, and we're really excited to be here. This is a community that a lot of our team members um, from several of our stores actually live in or around. So it's just really exciting to be able to give back and have them participate in that um, and to make a difference. I mean the garden looks great and we're really excited uh, to give back to the community in that way. When we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at